Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Unhinged libs just targeted Kellyanne in supermarket, but she had priceless surprise for them instead. Unhinged liberals put another notch in their belt of ineffective bullying as they targeted Kellyanne Conway in a supermarket. Too bad for them the humorous queen snapped back with swift remarks of her own to counter the adult bullies who went after her. Leave it to a liberal to be the type of person who wants everyone to stand up against bullying, but then turns out to be the bully themselves. It's kinda like how Hollywood celebrities keep talking about hashtag MeToo and sexual assault, but their entire career consists of making movies and sexually assaulting each other. Hello Kettle, Meat Pot. It all went down when Kellyanne was in a Washington, D.C. supermarket doing normal adult things like buying food and some guy thought he was cool to call her out and say she should be ashamed of herself. He then told her to go look in the mirror. Unsure if that's a reference to her looks, her work, or a Michael Jackson song, but Conway snipped back at him in her ever so politely way. Instead of having a mental breakdown and screaming at the sky like a liberal on election day, she pushed some words right back at the male buffoon who tried to bully her into proverbial submission. She said mirrors are in aisle 9, I'll go get one now and carried on with her day. She just swatted the liberal gnat out of the air and there he lies on the floor with broken wings. What's he going to do next, physically assault her? She just put him in his place where he belongs like a bad puppy who defecates on the floor without training. Did his parents not train him correctly? Does this man not know how to speak to a lady? When Conway responded, she didn't break down or have a panic attack. What am I gonna do? fall apart in the canned vegetable aisle?" she recalled. Instead, she responded sarcastically, mirrors are in aisle 9, I'll go get one now. That wasn't the only time Conway showed her characteristic toughness. While at a Baltimore Orioles game, a man took a picture of her and mumbled that she was famous for all the wrong reasons. In response, Conway told him she was fluent and ignoramus and took a picture of him for herself. She added that she would include that picture in her collection of underachieving men. The Post's account came as the nation debated political civility and whether people like White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders should encounter public resistance amid family separations at the border. Both Sanders and Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen encountered public backlash for supporting the administration, something Rep. Maxine Waters, Democrat California, encouraged as a way to pressure them. Adviser Stephen Miller, who designed the controversial zero-tolerance policy for immigration, faced protests outside of his apartment in DuPont Circle earlier this year. A bartender also reportedly gave Miller two middle fingers after he ordered $80 of takeout sushi. If liberals wanted to fight, then bring it. We're smarter, stronger, and we don't have mental breakdowns when faced with adversity. We will continue to mind our own business and go about our day as normal, but if unhinged and mentally deranged people keep coming up to conservatives, then they're in for a rude awakening. If there was ever a civil war between conservatives and liberals, then it would be over in like 30 seconds. Conservatives have more guns than liberals have genders, so this would be a quick battle. If that man wanted to have a conversation with Kellyanne, then he could have had one respectfully and politely and perhaps he would have made a point. Instead, his point was that people like him have no couth, pride, nor the ability to act like a responsible human being. If Kellyanne was approached respectfully, then it's hard to imagine her not having at least a short conversation, but when someone approaches her like a major ignoramus, then why would she respond any differently? It's just like people who get pulled over for speeding who yell at the cops like it's the officer's fault they were driving 90 in a 40. Give respect, get some back. That's how it works. There's a good chance that grown man who belittled Conway still lives in his mommy's basement. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.